Meteorologist Scott Dorvell with the Idaho News 6 forecast. Temperatures today popping right up above freezing, even though we were barely below freezing last night. The snow didn't really materialize before the sun came up, except in the Western Valley earlier in the day. And then we had snow during the day today, and that coated the grass a little bit. Nice view, but gone. And for the Cheshire Valley, gone for a while, I would think, as we're going to be warming up. Let's look at what's happening right now. Mostly cloudy skies over the valley. As I look at a Grove Hotel, people heading out of town, 37 degrees, no wind. 89% humidity, and with the clouds trying to break, it's likely we'll see some dense fog forming tonight, especially places that had moisture, which is most locations. I'm looking at Midvale Hill here to see if there's any fog, and it's starting a little bit. There's been moisture here, and we'll probably see some dense fog starting here in the Western Valley. This is Highway 95 north of Weezer, Weezer and Midvale. Uh, Right now, not much going on. Here are the snow accumulations we had. We did have an inch of snow in Homedale. Homedale, one of the places that doesn't always get the snow. And yet you got it. Brian Garrison in Homedale is always saying, when am I going to get some snow? Brian, you got some snow. An inch in Homedale this morning, likely all melted. Uh, Let's take a look at what happened in the uh, Payette area. Only a half inch of snow. A trace of snow in the Boise area. McCall, seven and a half inches in town. There was less to the south. Even south like Lake Fork, it was less snow than that. And in Cascade, I think it was about four inches of snow. Uh, But all in all, a few inches of snow up in the Stanley area as well. I've got a little line there, but it was two or three inches of snow. That's pretty much it, Doppler radar. Everything's just kind of disappearing right on now. And as we look at a little wider view, you see the rain showers and snow showers tracking to the south and that storm system coming to an end. But we go offshore and we find a couple more storms, big swirl in the clouds up up near the Aleutian Islands. That's our strong storm. At least it's fueling a lot of moisture coming in. This one is going to be packing a big punch. This here will bring us a little light snow and light snow and rain into the Treasure Valley Friday night, Saturday morning. Uh, If you see anything on the ground, it will disappear quickly as it warms up behind it. But this system has a huge push. This could be a 6 to 12 inch snow, the Sunday storm system in the West Central Mountains. We're talking maybe even in the McCall area, 8 or 9 inches of snow is not out of the question as that second storm system moves in. And there's another one behind it. And there could be several more behind that as well. Upwards to 3 inches of water content could fall in central Idaho in the next uh, uh, about 15 days or so. That's equivalent to about 35 inches of snow, by the way. So here's the Friday night, Saturday morning, maybe an inch or two of snow in the mountains. Then we're going to tack on another eight to 10 inches of snow in some of the higher elevations. Notice Cascade showing a nine there. That's a sign that Long Valley could do very well with the storm system. And these numbers may be a little bit on the low side. For the valley, I think it will be all rain after a little bit of snow Saturday morning. Don't get your hopes up. On Saturday night and Sunday, a soaker coming in. We could have a real soaking rain Saturday night. Shower Sunday, more showers on Monday, a half inch of rain in the valley. And this could be 12 to 18 inches of snow between Saturday and Thursday in the McCall area. So keep that in mind. You're getting a little break Friday, but get ready because the snow, uh, it's going to be piling up. Be sure you have your plow services set to go because you'll be needing the plowing. Morning fog, mostly cloudy tomorrow in the Treasure Valley. After that, a southeast breeze about to 10 to 15 miles an hour. We get up to about 41, 42 degrees. Same story on Saturday, although we do have those rain snow showers early in the morning. They'll be gone. And then rain Saturday night and Sunday, rain into Monday. Our next storm Wednesday rolling. Even that one might start a snow, but turn to rain. It's fun to rain, see rain, a little rain. bit of, I know, fun to see a little snow coming down this morning, but certainly isn't sticking. All right, thanks, yeah. Scott.